Good day, good people. So we're back here at the village, and as promised, today I'm going to show you how to make bronze. So let's go do it! So we survived our vi adventures yesterday, and as you might remember, we had to spend the night up on that mountaintop. And, well, if you don't sleep, you're going to get tired. And that is what is in this game as well. If you look down at the lower left-hand side of my screen right now, you'll see that, that weird bloodshot eye. That means I'm tired. When I'm tired, I'm exhausted. And I do believe that when you're exhausted, your torpor slowly goes up until you pass out. And then you'll pass out for a little bit, and it'll drop your torpor by 20%. And you'll wake up, but then your torpor will start going up again until you'll pass out. So whenever you get exhausted like this, you have to come over to your bed. And there, you see, it says sleep. So I hit sleep. And boom, that eye is gone. Now, I think in the future they're going to change it so that you actually kind of... Uh, it, it's a, a time thing. So like here, it's just instantly your sleep is gone. Um, but for now... Uh, that's the way it is. It's an instant thing. But I think in the future, they're going to make it a time thing. And uh, there's a villager. They want to make it so that, for instance, uh, as a villager, you can rent beds at an inn. You know, you could have a big house like this with a bunch of beds upstairs. And people could come when they get exhausted and they could pay you to sleep in their beds and, and uh, get rid of the exhaustion. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need some clay. And I wanted to show you, I have made here the plaster mixer. And when you're making clay, I showed you that some time ago, uh, you... Fill your bag with water, like, okay, I can do this right now. I, I fill your buckets with soil, you fill your bags with water, and then you can craft clay. Well, you do that in the beginning, you do that in the mortar and pestle. But uh, later on, you can build this plaster mixer, and when you do it in there, you get actually more clay. The reason being is that in the mortar and pestle, it takes one water and one bucket of soil to make clay. And in this thing over here, it takes one water and it will mix two buckets of soil. So basically you're getting twice as much if you make it in there. And why do I need clay? Well, you guessed it. I gotta come out here and the first thing I need to do, make sure I have the clay shaper in my inventory and I have to go ahead and make a bunch of these. I think I'll make five of them because I, I only have one that's almost dead right now. So I'll make five of those. Okay. So now that we have those, we'll come over to my fancy wall-mounted fireplace over here. And we'll go ahead and put those on there. And we'll light the fire up. You'll notice I use bark in the, my fireplace. Bark burns uh, pretty quickly. But the thing is, you get so much of it from doing other things. Whenever I chop down trees or whatnot, I get so much bark uh, that I, I just use it. Because uh, I, I don't have any other use for it anyway. So I keep it here in a barrel. And if I need to put more on the fire there, we just do that. So meanwhile, we'll go ahead and check out here. So I use this little box here, clay pot rather, to keep my the various things I've made. So I already have a bunch of copper. I think I can take almost all of it. And I have the tin ore that we, that we mined yesterday. And then it's basically the same. Oh, there's, oh, I already had a bunch of tin ore in there. Oh, cool. Well, we'll do that then. And then basically it's the same thing as for making the copper ingots. We'll just have to put everything in here and light the fire, so to speak. Oh, I'm too heavy. Wait, no. Ugh. Push the right buttons. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll put the 210. So that's really nice that we have that much extra tin right now because uh, that means we'll be sailing in bronze for quite some time. So these are all now cooked up and good to go. So we put out the fire, come back over here, go ahead and put in our molds. Uh, okay, I'll take that out. I have at least three molds in there. And again, so you notice I have seven of these uh, lighting kits or fire making kits. As soon as I use that, now I only have six. So you need to always have these things in stock. So I'm going to need to make a bunch more again. I'm getting a little low here. Go ahead and put that in here, put the rest of those in there. And the clay, I'll go ahead and put the clay in the clay pot. Or the clay pottery wheel, rather. Oh, not the rock. Okay, so that'll be going away. 
and filling up here making me some can I put no um, yeah so we already got our first bronze ingot so to make bronze all you have to do is smelt the copper dust together with the tin ore and you, together with then the molds it'll give you your bronze ingots yeah so do we have any bronze ingots left well we got a couple so I can kind of show you what you can make with the bronze ingots melee there we go so we can make for instance a bronze ingot pickaxe head so let's go ahead and we'll make one of those it's probably gonna tell me I need a hammer so I got my hammer in here that's my blacksmith's hammer take that so now I can make the pickaxe head craft one of those that's nice and easy and I can type in hatchet I can also make a hatchet head craft one of those what's this a chain oh I don't know what I'm gonna need that for we'll have to check that out so we are now at so first you have just stone hatchet then you get copper and now we've moved up to the bronze level so I now have we go back to the inventory I now have an axe head and I now have a weapons head and I have to take those let me think do I make them in here uh, let me think uh, hatchet Yes, I make it in here. So I've got hide strips. I need a tool handle. So the tool handle I make over here as the carpenter. And the carpenter, that means I need my wood mallet. So we'll go over here. And I think I might even have a couple already made. Nope, I don't. Okay, so we type in handle. What do I need? I need wood. No problem. We have wood. Just got to step outside over here to the chopping station. Got a bunch of wood in there come back over here so now I make a handle what's that a rail no we're not into rails yet so a wooden handle though I'm not gonna make I will make ten that way I have some ready for next time I need to make tools I believe when the axe head when these axes break you can reuse the handle but I think you have to, to smelt a whole new or, or smithy a whole new head for the tool. All right, so we'll take those two for now. We'll let that finish crafting over there. Come back over here. Put the tools on there. And now I can go here to tools. And now we can make it. So I'll make one pickaxe and one hatchet. So it's pretty much as easy as that. With bronze, it's also possible to make armor. I haven't done that yet, though. Let's check this out. Okay, so what do I need? Ah, I need bronze armor pieces, linen string, and linen fabric shirts. So the bronze armor pieces I can make in here. So if I went to armor, metal... Yeah, here's where I can make my bronze armor pieces. So I can do that. Uh, the plant string, I already have a ton of those, too. Uh, but you make that simply by using the wooden spindle together with fiber to make the plant string. However, let's go look this up again real fast. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So however, I need a linen fabric shirt. I need linen fabric pants, linen hat, linen gloves, and linen boots. These are only things the tailor can make. And no-go is the tailor so we're gonna have to wait for him to come back before we can actually make any kind of cool armor but I think that's gonna be one of our next steps and I will show you that uh, when I get a chance so we'll come over here we'll take a look again yeah we're already up to 13 but see one of our one of our molds is broken so I'll go ahead and get another mold to replace it with Ooh, oh no that this this is a different mold this is the hammer mold so I have here my blacksmith's hammer you know what let's uh hmm which which metal do I need for that I don't know if I want to waste I don't want to waste uh, bronze I think I can do that with just copper but you put this in oh what the heck let's just put it in and see what happens I'll show you guys that pull that out Oop, did I not pick it up forgive me there sometimes you know so we'll put that in and we'll take this one out and so now we'll see what happens we'll have to wait just here a little bit I'll go ahead and make a couple let's 
Ah, so you notice... You notice the tin, or the copper, goes down much faster than the tin. So we're going to go back here. Grab some of that tin we have here. Slap that in. Does it? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm talking baloney here. It could very well be. There you go. So we got our first hammerhead. I'll go ahead and make a second one of these. Why not? Oh, it broke. Okay. Okay, so we got our first hammerhead. Let's come back over here and see how those uh, handles were going. There we go. Got seven handles. We'll go ahead and grab those. Oh, those were cans I was making for no-go. We'll grab those too. So then we come over here and we put in the handle and the hammerhead and I should now be able to type in hammer yes and now I can craft the blacksmith hammer I'm just gonna make one for now I wonder why I can make two Did I, I think I might have had a second hammerhead in there already just in preparation in case and I keep my extra tools in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put in both of those hammerheads and I also have those two tools that way if we die or whatever we already have some tools ready for backup and and then this is a cool little thing. I can stack my ingots in here. A little kind of decorative shelf. So that looks kind of nice. Good. I am getting thirsty. This is smithing along. Um, I've already showed you what I wanted to show you today. Oh, I cruise around here. Show you our balcony here. And this is now kind of where our outdoor food area is. So... Ooh, yeah, got lots of chicken meat. That's still, last little bit, still cooking up there. These clay balls, so those are dry clay balls. Okay, we still got lots of wet clay balls. Good, I'm not going to bother with that then. Um, what do I want to say? Oh, yeah, so I'm going to take the ash here. Ooh, ash is heavy. I'm going to take that over to Tonogo's Alchemy Hut. So he's already got uh, lots of different... Um, herbs and things going here that he needs to grow to make the different concoctions and whatnot and uh, he needs the gunpowder I think and together with their or not the gunpowder I think with the sulfur and the ashes I think that's what he uses to make the gunpowder so we'll give him all that and he needs these wooden cans because he so I guess it all gets packed into these cans and that's what makes the bomb we'll, we'll just have to find that out when the time comes so in meanwhile I'm gonna grab ocean and oh leveled up again Ocean has just turned out to be a great mount. Uh, I really miss Tigger, but Ocean being, uh, whatchamacallit, being uh, with the 100% affinity or whatever you call that to me, imprinting, uh, has just turned out to be a great mount. So this is uh, maybe a little bit of a shorter episode today, but my main goal was simply to show you guys how uh, to make bronze and speak in normal languages uh, and uh, we have done that so as the sun begins to set i will say good day good people and i'll catch you when i catch you <laughs>